perched on a, a, a base of dolomite from the uh, Mashamba West Mine in the Katanga. Very, very pretty piece. Uh, Size-wise, almost half a palm size. Let me first of all give you a sideways view. So you have that dolomite matrix. Would need a stand. So standing flat, it's going to lie like this. I would angle it like this so that we have a flat surface and 90 degree to look at over there. So there you have a little bit of projection of these cobalt and calcite crystals off the matrix. Now we're going to look from the top down. Um, what's happening here is is multiple uh, crystallization. So smaller crystals forming a bigger cube. Interesting background. I don't often see this. Almost a creamy beige background. Usually the, the background is more of a dolomite. So quite possibly some other mineral growing in the backdrop. Um, I don't see any quartz here. There is a possibility that we have some minor quartz, maybe some heterogenite as well. Very, very aesthetic piece. Uh, so let me hold it. I think let's see how closely we can get in over here. And of course, these these uh, uh, cobalt and calcites are almost this electric pink, like this rich dark pink coloration, all the way from most likely the Mashamba West Mine in the Katanga. We'll actually never know for sure. Uh, uh, cobalt and calcites are pretty wi widespread right through the deposits of the, the Congo. Um, so one never knows for 100% sure the provenance of the cobalt and calcites. And of course, many of the malachites from the Kakanda too. But it is within a, a, a radius of about 350 square kilometers.